I'm back. No, not back in YouTube, back in Scotland, back in my homeland. I haven't been here for two years and I am so excited. I don't care how windy or how wet it is. Just look at that view. Yes, that's right, I'm back in Scotland after a two year absence because of COVID, lockdown, all sorts of things. I finally made it back to my homeland. And as you can see, well, the views are spectacular. It's about just at the front end of autumn here. So the colors are absolutely brilliant. Super excited to be here. Now I'm actually on my way up further west, up into Argyle, that's where my family still live. So I'm gonna have to do there, see, see my niece and nephew and all that kind of stuff. And I wanted to try and get up a hill, try and do a bit of photography before I got there. So I got my OS maps out and just kind of looked about. I looked about, I thought, where, where can I go? I want to get up a hill at least. And I found this hill here, Bendu, I think it's called. And it's just on the main road, just uh, where Luss is. Parked the car, walked up here. Bit of a, bit of a mad dash up, but well worth it. I've never been up here before. I literally just looked at the map picked a spot and thought, yeah, this could be quite good for photography. But it is wild up here. It's been raining, it's howling a gale, but never mind. I'm gonna uh, take some photographs. And that's one of the other things I'm gonna talk about in this video is I've had to pack my bag quite light. I'm quite short of time, getting close to sunrise. So I needed a lightweight uh, kit set up to help me get up the hill quickly and then grab the picture. So I will be telling you about some of the equipment, both new and old, that I'm gonna be uh, using on this particular uh, outing with the, the camera. But the light is constantly changing up here. I mean, the view's just up here. I mean, Scotland's just amazing. I think it's because I've been away maybe for a long time, uh, or I'm biased because I grew up here, but I mean, just look at that. Isn't that just amazing? Okay, let's talk about gear. This is my super lightweight gear that I want to get up a hill quickly with. So I've kind of cut back on what I would normally take. Well, partially anyway, I'll, kind of, I'll come on to that in a second. So bag-wise, I've got my trusty F-Stop Talopa bag there. Now I would have brought my F-Stop Guru, which is a smaller bag, uh, but because I actually have to take some video gear with me, uh, I had to really come with a bigger bag because otherwise I wouldn't have had room for food and provisions and jackets and rain jackets and stuff, which I really need today. But the one thing I didn't bring with me, I'm such an idiot, it's a pair of gloves. It's pretty chilly up here. And the worst thing is I've got two pairs of gloves down in the car that I could have brought. But I just checked my notes. So the F-Stop Guru bag, which is my smaller black one, which I would have taken, it's 1.2 kilos and this uh, F-Stop top is 1.9. So I've got, I, I probably could have saved about 700 grams. Camera wise, I'm not shooting with the Nikon Z7, I'm not doing stills with the Nikon Z7, I'm doing video and I'll come on to that in a minute. So I brought my uh, trusty Nikon ZFC and I love this camera. It's absolutely brilliant. I never bought it for taking stills really, but when you want to do a quick dash up a hill and do things quickly, this is absolutely ideal. And, and compared to the weight, so Nikon Z7, 675 grams, Nikon ZFC, 445 grams. That's me saved 230 grams. Lens, I've got the kit lens on here at the moment. It's a 16 to 50 crop lens. Cracking little lens actually. Um, and that's 135 grams compared to my normal 14 to 30, which is 485 grams, which has saves me 350 grams. It's variable aperture, but it doesn't really matter for landscapes. I did treat myself. I have brought one additional bit of kit, and that's my 24 to 200. This is a full frame lens for Z mount. So that probably gives me, uh, what's that, about 30 to, what's that, 30 to 300, is it? Isn't that? I'll put it up with it on the screen, but this will be quite handy for getting some detailed shots if I need it. What else have I got with me? I'll talk about filters shortly. Tripod, yes. So, got my tripod here. Now, this is the KNF tripod that I use for running about with. Uh, obviously, it's a lot, very light compared to my Getso. So, if I check my notes again. So, the Getso tripod plus head that I normally use is 2.4 kilos. This KNF is 1.3. So, saving quite a bit of weight here. It's a bit more lightweight. It's not quite as sturdy. However, I've got my pointy little feet in there, my pointy spikes. 
And actually, once you get those dug into this nice, soft ground here, it gives you quite a bit of stability. So I'm happy with the compromise and weight and stability because I've got those little spikes in there. So that's my lightweight kit setup. I have saved a bit of weight, obviously, because I've had to bring video gear as well. I've had to slightly compromise in that, but if I was, wasn't telling you about this stuff, I could have saved myself even more weight. But got a little trick up my sleeve, the, doing the video here on the Nikon Z7 with the 14 to 30, nice wide angle lens. I don't like shooting video on the Nikon Z7 because I can't see what my frame is like, but hopefully with a super wide angle of the 14 to 30, I'm pretty well uh, guaranteed to get myself in frame anyway, and it's attached to a little a gorilla pod there. But to save myself some weight, I decided to shoot this video in 720p, which is a ninth of the resolution of 4K. So that's a lot less ones and zeros for me to carry back down the hill. The intention of filming different parts of the video in different parts of this location with different views, but unfortunately, uh, this is probably the, the calmest bit of the uh, viewpoint that I can find without getting blown over too much. So apologies for not uh, varying things too much. Let me tell you about the first bit of extra kit that I've uh, got with me. And this is this kind of uh, grip slash tripod bracket for the Nikon ZFC. I've not been able to find a, a proper L bracket for this camera yet, but this one from Small Rig does a pretty decent job. So as you can see, it's got a nice grip there, which um, as you've, if you've got a Nikon ZFC, you know that that front bit there's quite flat, so it's nice to have a little grip there. And on the bottom, it's got a built-in uh, tripod plate there as well. It still gives you access to the uh, battery compartment and the memory card compartment. And that will fit on pretty standard plates. So I can add that on there like that, tighten that up. Ooh, got cold hands. Um, and that works quite well. It's not a proper L bracket though, so it doesn't have that side uh, mountain there but what it does have it does have a small threaded hole uh, beside the grip and you can attach an additional plate there i have found this slightly problematic i've not been able to get very many plates to either sit on it properly and tighten up either the hole's not deep enough or it's just simply not grip for some reason so i've used this peak design one here it seems to work quite well and then that will give me that vertical capability there and then I can do panos or I can do vertical shots which I'm really keen on. But this is a great bit of kit. I like it because it gives me I can take handheld shots with a bit more confidence and I've got that tripod plate built in because I'm forever forgetting to put these in because I'm so used to having an L bracket on there. But yeah nifty bit of kit. Um recommended if you've got a Z Nikon ZFC For my next weight saving uh, item of gear, and it's not gonna save me a huge amount of weight, probably only about 80 grams, and that's these new case filter double grads. Now, you never think, why do I need a double grad? Well, when you come up to a location like this, or I didn't really know I'd maybe necessarily come into this location, I didn't know which grads to bring with me, so I end up bringing up, you end up bringing up loads of filters, and that, that's just, that's just faff and weight, isn't it? But these are quite handy from case. So on one end, you've got a hard transition, three stops, and on the other end, I've got a soft three-stop transition. So why is that useful? Well, do I need a hard or a soft? I don't know. So I normally get my hard grad out, you know. Oh, so this is a soft edge, put it in, didn't, nah, it's not right. Go into my bag, get another one out, put that one in, how's that look? Oh, I don't know. I'll go back and get the other one. See what I mean? It's a, bit, it's a bit of faff. Now this is, you know, these are small, benefits, but I really like that because it allows you to very quickly, if I pop that in, I can check that, is that right? Or am I better off with soft, like that. Yeah, and I've already used this and it's been very handy. Or sometimes I can actually just, just rotate it round like that and then hey ho, I've already changed the transition. So really handy. I've got another one in my bag um, I haven't opened it yet because I've got these brand new and th that one is a medium edge transition and a reverse grad. Now I don't normally use reverse grads. I don't have one because I'm saying oh, I hardly ever use it. But when it's the other half of a grad that I've already got, I'm much more likely to use it. So I really like these and I think these are going to come in quite handy. They've got lots of low level clouds. So just having that, not that far for getting in my bag, especially when it's windy like this, I can just rotate, rotate them around. It's going to be really useful. And like I say, I take a few less grads and I think they weigh about 80 grams. So that's a bit more room for an extra packet of crisps and a packet of sweets, I think. All 
right, I'm going to try something a bit wild. Even though it's wet, it's windy, I'm going to try and talk you through at least one shot that I'm going to take today. So if I swing around, hopefully you can see. So I've got the Nikon, oh, excuse me, I should have brought a second tripod, didn't I? But that would have defeated the purpose. Got my Nikon ZFC, I've got the 70, sorry, the 24 to 200. I've got the uh, double edge, double sided grad, I've got it on the hard edge at the moment. And I've got this scene down here, we've got the fence and the beautiful golden ground out in there with that heavy sky as well. I've got it on ISO 200 just to give me a bit of a short a shutter speed, uh, F13, about a quarter of a second, something like that. I might have to readjust it, I'll pop the settings up on the screen as normal. But it's wild up here, but it's a wildness that I love about coming to Scotland. And it's just great having like a small kit like this just to run up the hills. It really helps when you want to get up, get somewhere high, get somewhere quickly. God, it's not long before the sun sets, so I think this might be the end of it, but go I'm having fun. Right, that's me making my descent down from the summit. The weather has really come in, there's no light, you can barely see that view anymore. I think the photography is done. But despite all those conditions, despite the wind and the rain and me trying to do the filming, it's all been a bit chaotic. There's no other place I'd rather have been. I've had a brilliant time up here taking photographs. And I've enjoyed sharing my lightweight kit bag set up with, the, with you as well. Uh, if you have any ideas about, what, or tell me about your setup, let me know. Do you change cameras with different lenses for different lengths of walk or whether you're going up hills or stuff like that? Let me know in the comments below. And that was also my first time trying out those case double filters as well. Fantastic. I don't know why no one's thought of those before. That's definitely staying in my kit bag. I know a lot of people say, oh, you just fix it in post or do it in post. But I like to do as much as possible in camera. I like to see in the back of the screen when I hit that shutter button, a really good representation of what my picture is going to look like. So that's why I still prefer to use grads and those double grads are a much welcome addition. You know, I know it's only 80 grams, but you know, it's one less thing to faff about with. But now that I'm finished and I haven't been to Scotland for ages, I'm going to do something very Scottish. I'm going to get myself a haggis supper and a can of iron brew. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.